Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today we're playing Call of Duty Mobile. Uh, it's a new app uh, available on Android and iPhone. Android and Apple. As of October 1st, 2019. And I just gotta say, it's a lot of fun. You start off in a pre-game match if it's waiting for other players. And you just drop right in. And it basically feels like you're playing Call of Duty. Full-fledged just on your phone um, if the sound isn't perfect uh, it's because this is the first recording I've ever done on my new iPhone 11 still figuring this thing out yeah I'm I'm team iPhone now team Apple yeah we're gonna be playing some some Call of Duty mobile today like I said and uh, it's just it's a great time I don't know it, it, it truly is awesome I just thought I would capture some gameplay for you here to show you just how great it is uh, and, and maybe go over a couple of different things about the game. So, as you can see, match starts out. I try to throw a grenade. Um, one of the key differences here is is that the, the game doesn't penalize that first use or that early use of explosives. Uh, sometimes they're weakened, sometimes they're just not allowed to be used, depending on the mode and depending on the Call of Duty game. The mainline Call of Duty games, anyway. As you saw there on this one, not the case. Also, this is free to play with... A season pass for $25 or 2,000 COD points. Um, it's it's 2,000 COD points, but you have to pay $25 to get the the amount you need in order to purchase the season pass. Uh, you Similar to Fortnite and every other game with a season pass now, you progress through the premium season pass simultaneously with the regular season pass. You just get more stuff unlocked if you pay for that premium pass. Um... Yeah, as you can see, um, every time I go to fire, I'm tapping and holding on the right side of the screen on the little bullet icon. And this is the what's known as the advanced shooting mode. Every time you hold down that button and drag, you shoot. And as you saw there, as I get closer to a person, a knife it button will pop up if you're within, you know, slashing range of an enemy. Right here, I kind of own a guy. He, he was so thrown off by the jump. And that's one of the things that's going to dominate in this game, really, is just those little movements that you would normally do instinctively to avoid being shot. In here, it's going to totally throw people for a loop. Not only are there a bunch of filthy casuals playing this game right now, but also you have a large number of people that are still figuring out the controls. Crouching right now and reloading seemed pretty natural. I'm level 17 or 18 or so, which means I've played at least that many matches because you level up early on about once every match or so. Right here, as an example, they they never noticed the grenade low emblem, letting them know that they're there. Uh, this game is this game is really good, guys. It's it's pretty awesome. Um, as you saw there, you can use the purifier. You have a bunch of other specialist weapons. Uh, you can pick up enemies' weapons. There's multiple perks for your loadout. Uh, it's it's a full fledged Call of Duty mobile. Multi, sorry, Call of Duty multiplayer experience on your phone. So you can play anywhere that you have a mobile connection. I only had two bars of 4G LTE while recording this. Uh, I was just in my living room. We don't have Wi-Fi right now, so this is what I was doing with my free time. No Wi-Fi. Let's play some Call of Duty. Let's level up a little bit. And uh, it was a really good time, honestly. Uh, so far, the only like lack luster things are moments like this. So we'll let this play through. I tried to reload. We're shooting. And as you can see, I had drug all the way to the right and my gun had stopped. Uh, I reached the edge of the screen. So in moments like that, you really just have to have the mental clarity to take your thumb off, put it back on and drag back over right to continue tracking that guy. Or you can do quick jerking movements. And the faster your thumb moves, the faster your gun will move. So it's sort of a dynamic, a dynamic uh, sensitivity. You can change sensitivity and everything, and one of the things I would actually recommend highly is to go into your settings and change the graphics to medium or high, depending on your device. An iPhone 11 Pro, Pro Max, could probably handle high with the maximum frame rate, but I lowered mine down to medium graphics, and that turns off anti-aliasing. Uh, I want to say the bloom effect, or the, the depth of field, and bloom and ragdoll, I believe. And I turned the frame rate to max. And that gives you that buttery smooth gameplay. It's not the prettiest or the smoothest, 
I mean, it's not the prettiest or smoothest around the edges, but it will be the smoothest action and everything will come at you pretty much lifelike and pretty, pretty, you know, familiar. Like as you're seeing right now, it looks like Call of Duty, just straight up. Um, and interesting thing about the purifier I've noticed, if you hit them with the flames, the game considers them dead automatically, as you'll see here. But in, in, in the game itself, when you're playing, See right there, the moment he caught on fire, he was dead. But in the game itself, he had time. He uh, Purifier is a bit of a dead man walking sort of weapon. Once you catch someone on fire, they have time to to move and operate until they die or burn to death. Um, also, at the winning screen, off to the right there, as you can see, you can take screenshots. So, you know, if you're proud of your victory, you think you, you got a good score, you can snap a quick screenshot, and there you go. Bob's your uncle. You're all good. It's a great time. And now back here at the main screen, just for a moment, we're going to back out a little bit. If you go into loadout, you see you've got five total loadouts you can choose from right now. These are all the weapons. I'm just going to let it scroll through. You've you probably recognized at least one of them. You unlock them at that level. So the star emblem is your level, not a currency. A little confusing at first, but you kind of get the hang of it eventually. So as you can see, each level... Each level increment is unlocking new things like a new loadout or a new thing within a loadout. So every level you'll unlock something new, which is kind of nice. There's also a full-fledged battle royale mode on here, which is just, which blows my mind. Single, double, and four teams with squad fill, with first person, which, with third person. It looks like zombies is coming soon. You can go into your profile, change your name for a certain cost, change your emblem. You can get avatar frames. There's... It's almost like everything that you've ever known to be in a Call of Duty game is in this app in some way, shape, or form. Which... How? How can I play Call of Duty in my friggin' pocket? Like, actual Call of Duty. There's multiple game modes, and the crazy part is there's maps from every game that you've ever played in Call of Duty. Uh, right here, you're seeing me unlock some tiers, and battle crates I believe they're called and I think I'm gonna be opening one in just a moment you can link to your Facebook I, I don't know that I'd recommend that I disabled mine personally but or deactivated sorry but yeah you tap daily crate one tap OK opens a crate there in front of you it's pretty incredible you can open more than one crate at once and that gives you just what was in the crate I unlocked a new character there that I can use in battle royale and multiplayer and I'm assuming zombies once that unlocks. So Terrence Brooks. Kind of feels like a character from Ghosts, but I didn't play that game. Uh, I played like the opening level or two in the campaign and that was it. So, sorry, but that's just how it is. So yeah, you can spin the character around and view him and, and, and give him a good look. And yeah, it, it, it's a very interesting experience to say the least. Um, Call of Duty is on your phone now and we, we live in a very wild age, to say the least. To say the absolute least. Um, we can play Call of Duty in our pockets, guys. And if that doesn't blow your mind, I don't know what will. The maps are all maps that you're familiar with. If you've played a Call of Duty in the last five years, you're going to know these maps, or at least the last... I guess it goes back to Modern Warfare. Anyway, if you've ever played a Call of Duty game online, you probably recognize at least one of these and I'm going to give that guarantee 100%. That's my 100% guarantee. <laughs> so uh, we've got Crash, Crossfire, and Kill House, all from Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. Firing Range, Hijacked, and Standoff from Call of Duty Black Ops, Black Ops, and Black Ops 2, respectively. And there's probably going to be more added eventually. We'll just have to wait and see what they decide to do when that, you know, when that happens. If that happens, if they decide to release more maps and more weapons, there's already quite a few, but there's not very many secondaries just yet, as far as different secondaries. And the available modes, there are five of them. Team Deathmatch, Free For All, Domination, Hardpoint, and Frontline, with no option to shift to Hardcore mode that I'm aware of. I'm still very new at the game. The available characters are Alex Mason from Black Ops, David Section Mason from Black Ops 2, Thomas Merrick from Call of Duty Ghosts, I believe that's character I unlocked. John Soap McTavish from Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. John Price from Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. And, ladies and gentlemen, 
Give it up for Simon Ghost Riley from Modern Warfare 2. The GOAT, Ghost himself. That's going to be the character that most people are going to be looking to get because, my God, what a man. What a man of a character. Uh, yeah, I don't really... Um, I don't know about you, but I'm really enjoying the experience. I think it's really awesome. I think I'm going to do one more video on this game, on this app, to let you guys know the um, the options that you have at your disposal and the differences in the game. The last thing I will say, Team Deathmatch specifically, and I think Frontline as well, those are two modes that are very similar. You just go for kills. Shorter. 40 kills. Not 50, not 75, not 100. 40 kills. Whoever gets 40 kills first, the game is over. 5v5 every time as long as you know the system is able to churn through people and get them in and keep them in and that makes games go by a lot faster i've played games as you saw that one that was pretty standard so like eight to ten minutes is probably expected per match i've had matches end in three to four minutes where i've stomped and i've been stomped so it really just depends on the performance of your teammates among other things among a bunch of other factors so yeah, that's um, that's it for this one. Uh, if you're still here, you're probably a subscriber of the channel, so I'll let you guys know what's been going on in my life very briefly. Uh, I started back in college. That's where I've been mostly. I moved my whole setup, my whole my whole workstation. I now am doing this in a closet, as you can see by the clothes right there. Uh, I'm still working on videos, very 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 seldomly working them out, throwing them out there. I moved into the woods in a log cabin so we're working on getting wi-fi i don't know when my next live stream will be if ever again not if ever again but like within the next like year or two because i'm just not in an area with strong wi-fi i'm gonna get it just don't know when yet just gotta work it out and get to it when i can i actually used my phone to connect my computer to a hotspot a mobile hotspot so that I could access my editing software again because it freaked out. Finally got that fixed, so I'm going to start editing this video. If you stuck around for this long, thank you. I know this was a longer one. I haven't been, I haven't done this in a while. And I'm just, I'm really grateful for 500 subscribers. We did it. We've made it to 500. Thank you for 500. <laughs> thank you so much for 500 subscribers. For liking any video you've ever liked. For watching any video of mine you've ever liked. Watched. And if you enjoyed it, especially thank you. Uh, that's kind of the only goal here is just to make something people will enjoy. I'm just really grateful that I finally made it to 500. It's halfway to 1,000, which is my first legitimate goal. Yeah, it, it's really cool. I'm really grateful. Uh, thank you again. If, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. If you didn't, fuck you. And as always, be sure to enjoy yourselves. Until the next video or live stream, stay frosty and stay humble.